Okay, part two of what is the law of attraction. Okay, so we've got that down. You're not going to get any more answers out of me about how to create a happy human life. But I will. I am the expert on how to get out of 3D, 4D, and into 5D. I can help you learn how to stop looking at those things and start looking for the higher vibrations into 5D. 5D, you're dealing with energy, what you would consider magic, and it's much faster. The linear time is much shorter. This is where I've got my expertise, is giving you hope, helping you walk to 5D, and then what to do when you get there. And then for everybody else who's looking forward to 5D, I can show you and teach you and help you get through that really, really fast and step back out of 5D, back outside of this game altogether, all without dying. That's my expertise. That's what I'm here for. For those that are early on, I am going to be the one that jumps up and down and says, if you don't want to be in 3 and 4D, you're going to have to stop focusing on things that are 3 and 4D. Okay? They don't matter. Um, they were no more real than, than um, the pink dragon that's sitting on my finger. There is not a pink dragon sitting on my finger. Not that there couldn't be, there could, but there's not. And that's how real all of those things that you want that are 3 and 4D are. They're, they're not real. Um, they're just illusions that you create. You create these illusions and perceptions and, and, and can have those experiences. There's nothing in the world wrong with creating any of those, of incorporating all of that stuff into your experience as a human being. Nothing's wrong with it. Nothing. But if you're going to talk to me, what, what I am doing is I'm giving hope and hopefully relief to those that are coming from outside of the game in that they're not nuts. And this is what's out there. Remember, and then you remember. And now I will help you get from 4D to 5D. I will help you point you in the way. But in order to do that, you have to leave something behind. You have to stop looking at the past if you want to look for something different in the future. Especially because it's so um, difficult. Because everything in 5D is so, so very different than 3 and 4D. So you really have to learn to let go of those other things. That is the reason why I told you to not be attached to anything. Don't need anything. I am not saying that you can't love your family, love your kids, love your husband, love your job, love having the money and love spending the money. Nothing's wrong with any of that. You can continue to do it all day long. But if you are going to spend all of your time focusing on getting those things or getting more of those things, there is just X amount of energy that you can use to create through this linear time space and with the knowledge that you have. If you're spending all your time doing that, I assure you, nothing's wrong with it, but you will be staying in the fourth dimension. And you will be eventually, probably, um, getting off on an alternative nurse, alternative earth that is pigeon-based. Most of the people that were going to leave to alternative um, Earths uh, have done that over the last, the last remnants of them are, are going now. And if you aren't on the way out, then you will, but you still want to hang on to the physicality of this game, then you are going to be in mid-range to, you know, mid-range and a little bit above 4D, which is ruled by the pigeons. So you're heading towards pigeon land. Again, nothing's wrong with it. But I am talking to people who want to whiz through the rest of the gecko energies, whiz right on past the pigeon energy, and go screeching into 
of the fifth dimension. That is what I am here for you. That is what your sessions are here for. If you want uh, a session to help you make peace with your past, um, the things that trigger you now, that you know that they're triggering you, and they know that you're keeping you in 4D, when your intent is to go into 5D, that is what I am. my sessions are good for. If you want somebody to teach you how to um, have all the things that are going to be in 4D, like I've listed many times before, there are a lot better people to listen to, a lot, lot better people to set up a session with. My sessions are very, very different, I think, from just about everybody else. Because my intent is I'm talking to your higher self, you all your pub friends, looking at the story, where you are, what job you came to do, and I will be promoting things like telepathy, telekinesis, um, introducing and seeing through different eyes, broadening the range of your human eyeballs so that you can see other beings. During this session, I will be introducing you, whether you know it or not, to every magical being that lives around you to let them know that they are and that you are a human being ready to make that next step up into the fifth dimension and that you are going to want help. You are already asking for help. That is what I do. Then I will be talking to you about anything and everything that your higher self and I can come up with to get you to remember who you are. There is nothing to learn, guys. And if you've got it into your head that you need to learn things, then you already don't believe that you're a god. A god cannot learn anything. A god knows everything. Big God, big G, big O, big D. You know everything. You are in amnesia. So you want to remember who you are. And the more that you remember then these things come back easier and faster and you realize that there is no learning process. That takes time. There is no such thing as time. That implies work and there's no need for work. You are who you are. You are a God. You just need to remember that. That's what talking to me, that's what we do when you talk to me. A lot of you people right now, a lot of people have had a lot of um, bickering back and forth, a lot of people slamming phones down, a lot of people saying, well, I wish you well, but I've decided to go another way. That's absolutely fine. That's exactly what happens when people get too far apart in their vibration of where they've chosen to be. There is a clash in that breakaway. But for those of you, especially those of you that are new, <clears throat> new, and there are a bunch of you, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Now you know what I'm here for and what we're going to be looking at, okay? In order to go to this new magical place, you absolutely cannot need to have things that are in the third and fourth dimension because these are all going to be replaced with completely different um, wants, desires, perceptions, um, experiences, uh, what happens in the day of, fill in the blanks, okay? It's completely different in the, four, in the fifth dimension. And that is what I am very good at. And I'm extremely good at watching the game from outside the game and showing you all different perspectives of that said game. So, all of that, <laughs> meandering around and around and around and back and forth, so that I can get to the point where I tell you what the Law of Attraction really is. In the Law of Attraction, let's see if I can do this, Law of Attraction. Or L-O-A. That 
is what they call it. L-O-A, the Law of Attraction. It looks big and bad. There's been book after book after book written about it to explain it, to try to um, get people to use it. And the funny thing is, the Law of Attraction is extremely simple. It's not, the Law of Attraction is not the issue. The Law of Attraction is not what people are having trouble with at all. Because the law of attraction is simply a God creating. A God creating. L-O-A is a God creating. That's all it is. They've named it Law of Attraction, but it's simply a God creating. It is on the other side, outside of linear time space, in the now, we say, hmm, I want this. Bam, it's done. That's Law of Attraction. Now, they say it really, Law of Attraction is really more how that creative energy is done. But outside of this game, the, it would not be considered a law. It would not be considered even attraction. It is simply how we create. End of story. The difference is that here, we do it in linear time space. And there is where creating a simple simple thing of us creating which is very very simple we intend it's done we intend it's done we intend it's done the simple easy thing of creating becomes very 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 complex and difficult L O A so the simple creationary process that that is simply it shall be and it is becomes very 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 complex and difficult and becomes what they call law of attraction because we are in this game and that includes linear time space. So between on the other side in here where the other side there is no linear time space well <clears throat> here there's not either it's just the illusion and that illusion, one of the main players on how to create the illusion of linear time space is by using the creationary power that, we've, that we have. It is by using that that we can create the illusion of time space. You see? Because what we do is we take this creation that we did and now we say, okay insert if we just did it like we do it on the other side amnesia would be over game is done because the second i say i want a giant waterfall right there i want to hear it i want to see the babbling brook i want a sun over the top of it i want uh, beautiful pink and purple flowers. I want the sun to shine down and give me a triple rainbow. Now let's just make it a rainbow all the way across the sky. The second I do that and it's there, it's game over. It's game over. I would, you know, you immediately know you're a god right then, right? There's no question. You don't stop and then, you know, a second later going, oh my gosh, no, never mind, that's interfering with this look over here. Okay, erase it all. Bam, it's all gone. 
okay? There's no time for you to stop and have a, a discussion with your favorite humans and go, uh, watch this. So you go get your special friends and you bring them out and you go, okay, recreate something else. And they go, <gasps> and then you go, now watch this. Never mind, I, I just wanted it all to go away. Bam, 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 it's gone, right? Okay, so now, because we are who we are, I turn to Julie and I say, Julie, you do it. So Julie does it, then Bob does it, and then they run and get their families and friends. And, and before you know it, given that we've got YouTube and cameras everywhere, within, oh, I don't know, I'll be just like really, I'll, I'll just be really slow in this. 24 hours later, every human being on the planet now knows that they are a creator God, can create everything and anything they want in an instant. Game over. Game is over. So, in order to deal with that, what was done was linear, the illusion of linear time-space came into uh, came into play in this game. And over a very long time, first of all, people are born as babies and they are instantly told, the baby as well as everyone else, that babies can't communicate. Or very, let's, let's, no, it's not can't communicate, but let's go with very simple communication, very simple communication and certainly nothing more than say uh, cry I need a bottle cry I'm wet I need change cry I'm overly sleepy or cry I just woke up very limited communication right off the bat we're gonna start with that belief system so here's our belief system okay not only that, we decided to develop that you start out as a teeny tiny baby, little tiny baby wrapped up in a, in a swaddling cloth being held by mom and dad. So, tiny baby here. And then you're going to grow to be an adult where you walk around and take care of yourself and you're going to end up like the baby, only in bigger form, totally dependent. With more illness. Illness dependent than dead. Right. Good plan. So this is our concept. These are our belief systems. These were developed to put into our human skin suit mind in the creationary game over a long, 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 long period of time. So we're going to start with this belief system, start little, very little communication. Now, if there's very little communication and all this sounds like to the baby is wah, 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 and all the baby sounds like to you is wah, 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 garbla, 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 well, then the baby who still has a memory of where it came from cannot tell the adult and blow the cover. And the adult cannot explain totally, all at once, to the baby what their belief system is as to where we are. All of this, you've got time to make this happen. So one right after the other, we go to toddler. And we teach them they must learn. Everything must be learned. And learning takes time. And... You have to you have to listen to someone else, someone older and wiser, but someone else, everything. You are dependent upon upon someone else all the time with everything. That's the original belief system that's put into place. So we've taken this law of attraction, which is simply the creationary power of any god, all gods. And we put ourselves in a non-communicative state. But we have our memories. And we slowly, using all these belief systems that are starting to be put in place. And there's 
endless more. This is a lifetime full of beliefs that are absolutely opposite of what this little baby knows. That tiny little God knows. But there'll be so much of this going on, this lifetime of beliefs being embedded into that human brain in slow, carefully thought out, planned ways that it will replace that total understanding and belief and knowingness of the gods that we are. Okay? It is this process right here that takes our creationary power that's instantaneous and we can do everything, know everything, do anything, undo anything, and takes it from that instantaneous uh, knowingness and abilities to law of attraction that is slow, cumbersome, and very, very difficult to get past all of these belief systems that is actually what is causing all of these days and hours and moments because you, you, about the time you think that you are something, and that you can, you believe that you absolutely was taught to you. I can go to college for eight years, come out, make a good, good living as a stockbroker. Okay? All of that takes time. And it absolutely replaces the true LOA, which is our instant creator abilities. So this linear time-space illusion creates the opportunity for us to lose that all-knowingness, get to the point we're in total amnesia, and have a, a way of explaining how things happen, how things are created. Even though we're creating them with a thought, we're creating them with an intent. This takes all of this time and embeds a bunch of belief systems within you that explain how these things are happening. In reality, it's all happening because you intend it to, to be. Good or bad, up, down, right or wrong, you are intending it to be such and such and so forth. Therefore, it will be, but you could fill in this to here, and there'll be an understanding that makes sense as to why. But it will also slow you down. I've got to learn to walk before I could run. And I've got to practice running and running and running. And I have to be built a certain way. And I need a good coach. And I need my family to have a history of being fast runners in order to, to win awards in high school. Then I've got to get to college and win awards. And then sometimes after all of this work, which is all this illusion of time where I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger, then I can finally get to the Olympics. And then I know that I can win. And it comes down to a handful of people who have done all of this. And it's whoever has the strongest, most intent to winning that will win. Okay. I'm going to end it there. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe. Love you guys. Oodles and dobs. Bunches and bunches. Bunches and bunches. Bunches and bunches. Uh, life is good. Keep smiling. It is feeling great. It's working great. Continue to choose sides. Um, I would say, choose on the smiley side. Okie dokie. If you want to have a talk with me, email me below. Stephanie will set us up a time. Uh, it's 100 bucks for 30 minutes, 200 for it for an hour. Uh, or three questions on email for 50 bucks. Okay, that's how you get through to me. Okay, love you guys so much, and I'll see you later. Bye now.